One of the things we see at, at the center when guests come, they come with so many issues, uh, you know, underlying issues, plus they're using substance or engaging in addictive behavior. Is it a role they play? Like you, you play a role of a father or a mother or a sister, brother, and how does the shadow part of that plays out? Well, I think addicts take on the personality of an addict and they might identify with that role. But a spiritual approach would be that, you know, you, even if you identify the, with the role, you're not the role that you're playing and that you have to go to a deeper level of identity. Uh, we play lots of roles and sometimes playing the role of an addict can also be playing the role of a victim. It's, you know, it's not my responsibility or it's not my fault. Now, it may not be her fault, you know, because it may go back to childhood trauma or, you know, something that happened when you were not fully aware. That doesn't take away, absolve you of responsibility. It's not your fault, but it's your responsibility. That's right. And that then is to take away that particular role. Shadow energy, yes, uh, addiction, people, there are some people who um, have other shadow energies and addiction is part of that overall complexity of the different shadow energies. And when there's anonymity, when there's nobody's watching them, when they can do it secretly, when uh, there is um, permission from other people who are also addicted, then uh, there's a likelihood of that shadow energy getting activated.